I'm Miss Lucy, the children's librarian at Willard Public Library, and today we're going to read Poop for Breakfast by Sarah Levine. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Poops for breakfast. Really? Ew. Well, for some animals, it's no joke. The practice of eating poop is so common, it even has a name. Caprophagy. Ka pra fa -gi. Why do some animals do this? For a number of surprisingly good reasons. For some animals, eating poop is part of being a good parent. Eating poop can help make eggs stronger. Or it can keep a nest clean and tidy. Eating poop can protect a baby from predators. Some animals eat poop to help digest food that's hard to break down. Wood is especially difficult to eat. Some animals need food to travel through their bodies two times to get all the nutrients out. This can happen because their digestive tracts are very short. Or it can happen because their digestive tracts are shaped in an unusual way. Some animals eat poop because, well, it's the only option. It's what's for breakfast and lunch and dinner too. Do some animals eat poop because they just like how it tastes? It's hard to say because they can't tell us. There are many good reasons to eat poop and so many different types of animals do it. So is it odd that humans don't do it? No, nah, our digestive tracts work perfectly fine without doing this. Wanna guess the number one reason why we don't eat number two? It's disgusting. Look at all these different kinds of poop. Here's rabbit poop and goat poop and human poop, deer poop, dog poop. There's cat poop and bird poop, probably the most interesting. The end. <laughs> oh good, you're still here. We have so many more books to read, so be sure to come back here for more read-alouds. And if you live in Evansville, I'd love to see you this summer for our summer reading program. Adventure begins at your library. We have so many fun guests planned, like a real life llama, a magician, Bluey and Bingo, zoo animals, and so much more. We also have weekly story times, crafts, and movies. Oh, I almost forgot about our big foam party in the park. Look how fun it is. So if you're looking for big summer fun, it's right here at Willard Public Library this summer.